Welcome to this presentation on NetApp Recovery Manager for ShareFile. This is the version 1.1. I'm Cedric Cortex, your host uh, for today. In this presentation, the, the goal is really in five minutes to give you an idea of the configuration of uh, NetApp Recovery Manager for ShareFile and how to restore uh, simply a file. We call it the easy button. So in this video, you're going to see the demonstration uh, showing uh, both aspects. First of all, I, I wanted to lay down the foundation. So NetApp Recovery Manager is, is a tool that you install on ShareFile Storage Center. It automates uh, the recovery of the file based on snapshots. And if you look at the picture here, uh, we can see that it's leveraging the local snapshot and also uh, SnapVault and SnapMirror relationship for secondary packet. Looking at the configuration, so the first deck uh, shows you the, the different aspect, primary and secondary, uh, with also the configuration of the NDMP. We'll see also the services uh, involved and the different timeout uh, that you can uh, basically change. So in this demo, we are going directly to the tool um, NetApp Recovery Manager on the storage uh, controller. Changing the pool time is very easy. Uh, you can also change the parameters for NDMP and, and others. If you want to specify a controller, you, you punch the IP address of the cluster, put the credential, and then you're in. You select your vServer, select the volume uh, you want to attach. On top of that, like I said, the NDMP uh, needs to be set up because it's the way we are, we are transferring, doing the FTP uh, to recover the file. And that's a summary of the configuration. Now, if you want to add a snap vault, for example, relationship, you'll have to also punch the credential for that and the destination uh, for the vServer. Same thing for NDMP. The third relationship that you may want to create is for uh, snap, snap fault. I said snap me was the first one. Exactly the same thing for the credential. So now that you have both of, of them, you can also uh, switch order and verify that in the summary, all these configurations appear. There's a log, and this log is pretty useful when we start uh, restoring files. So let's move on with the file restoration. We call it the easy button, but typically it's, it's a task that happened at the uh, web UI from, uh, from share file. And looking at it, um, I've already loaded some files, a couple of files. We're going to delete them. But not only from the web UI, we want to also make sure that they are permanently deleted from the metadata and from the uh, storage zone itself. So let's do the first step of cleaning the metadata, making sure there's no more trace of those files on the the control plane. And the additional step is on the storage center, um, on the NetApp storage to remove the, the files. So now that this is done, we can go back and uh, basically uh, recover file. Uh, you have to specify the time where, uh, where you want to be located to, to restore specify the location, and uh, that's about it. So you see this task is running. Uh, what it triggers is a, a new uh, QID that uh, the recovery manager for ShareFile will pick up. We, we said one minute, but uh, I fast forward it. And uh, as you can see, there was two items in the queue detected, and they were successfully uh, Loaded. So now if we refresh the console, um, first of all, if we refresh, we'll see the, that the files, the queue will disappear, meaning that the share file 
web UI acknowledge that the files were uploaded. And now, uh, just a simple refresh uh, shows us that the, the files were recovered for the user. If you want to learn more, uh, of course, you can always download the tool. It's available on the Now site for free. And we have also a, a TR. Uh, thank you for joining me today and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day.